Hey guys, Boneyard here. I'm just here for a quick tip. I'm working on this walker today. Got to put a new blower in it. Had to. Uh, right there. It's a pretty big job. But I caught a video last night about uh, from Ken Small Engines about OEM parts against aftermarket parts. And I agree with them 100%, especially on commercial grade machinery. You should get OEM parts. Uh, maybe some of the homeowners can get away with aftermarket parts. And there's the difference between aftermarket parts, good aftermarket parts, and Chinese specials off of Amazon. So don't get those two confused because there is aftermarket uh, people out there like Stens and, and uh, you know, a couple more that are really good aftermarket parts. But I want to get on this OEM part on this walker. So I put this brand new blower in. Let me tell you, the blower costs $650 in this OEM. And it's about, well, I got about over five hours in this right now. But it usually takes you two and a half, three hours to change that. As you can see, you take the, I got to take the wheel off. You got to jack it up. It comes out from the bottom. Uh, a lot of moving parts to get that out. As you can see how tight it is in there. If you look at the uh, the belt and the idler and the starter, see how close that is? So this this is a job. Uh, but I get it all together and I engage that blower and it makes a racket. Clanking, sparks flying out of it. Clanking, clanking, clanking. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I thought maybe... Maybe I dropped a bolt down there or a washer or something, you know, uh, but I didn't. So let me show you, let me put this slip down. I'm going to show you what I had to do. And uh, you would think for $650 and being OEM, it should bolt right up. And I found a couple of problems with these. A lot of times in shipping, the shaft that goes through the center, there's a collar with a with an Allen key set screw loosens up, and that thing would slide out, and it would hit on these bolts as it comes up. So, but on this, let's see if it's going to focus. So what I did is I took this thing and I spun it, and you can see the fins. They weld them right on top there. So I kept going, going, going. I'm like, where is this thing hitting? And I, you can feel it a little bit. And I brought it around. And see right there? I had to grind the top of this fin off. It was hitting right in here. It was, they made it too long or they put too big of a weld on it. And it was hitting back in this corner where you couldn't really see it. So what I, what I ran it for a while and then it made a mark. So I took this took my grinder and I ground this one end down just so it would clear. I still got to clean it up a little bit. But there you go. There's a OEM part at $650 and over three hours worth of work to put it in. And then you have a problem like that. So just something to uh, keep in the back of your head on these walkers. And while I'm on the walker subjects, a lot of people bring it to me for a service. And I go through the whole thing, change all the hydro and oil, blah, 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 and I grease it. And that's the only time it gets greased. As much as I tell, sorry about that. As much as I tell my customers that they gotta grease these things at least once a week, they use them all day long, nonstop. So, I put the, I got all that fixed, the blower, and I'm running it, and then I smell like the belt burning. So I put all brand new belts on it. But if you look, there's a break right around this transmission, that band. Uh, let me get a point. Hold on. Sorry, I'm not prepared. I wasn't really going to make a video, but I just thought maybe I'll share this with you guys. So there's a band brake band right there where the end of that screwdriver is. That is your transmission that runs the blower and the dry shaft out for your front deck and blades. 
So I went to lift his handle up. I'm like, God, it worked stiff. You know, there hasn't been grease in it. So I wasn't thinking nothing of it. It wasn't engaging, and then the belt started burning. Uh, so I go down, I shut it off, and I look. And if you look at this linkage underneath, let's see if I can get a shot of it. It's kind of hard. Uh, see where my screwdriver is? This linkage right here? Right there? That's the bolt that goes through it, and there's a grease fitting on it. Which is, you can't really see it. Anyway, there's a grease fitting on it. So they never greased that. And it got stuck. So this rod bent. This rod right here. I can't really see it. Anyway, there's a rod here that bent. And that activates the brake. So the brake was sticking on because none of this was moving like, you should, like it's supposed to move. Trying to get it under here so you can see it. You can see it moving there, kinda. So all that was stuck. So that's why the belt was squeaking and the brake wasn't coming off, off the uh, transmission. So if you got these walkers coming in for service, or if you own one, uh, take time and grease it. I mean, there's grease fittings over a lot of moving parts. As you can see here, this is your belt tensioner for your drive belt. This is your belt tensioner for your hydros. So many moving parts all in here. Grease fittings, grease fittings. I haven't greased it all yet. Just this to get it working. Uh, and then if you go under here, uh, more grease fittings up in there, which you can't see in the back. Maybe I'll do a video on all the grease fittings on this. But uh, anyway, just a quick tip. There's the tensioner for your, your blower belt. And as you can see, there's a grease fitting right there. That one, they don't grease. And then this thing sticks. And wondering why the blow is not turning because there's no tension up on the belt because they forget to grease this. So, but I just wanted to show you that OEM part on that walker. And uh, like I said, I thought about it because I seen Ken's video. If you haven't checked him out, go to Ken's small engine. Uh, check him out and uh, but not all OEM parts are good so all right that's it for now guys sorry I haven't been getting any videos out as you can see I'm super busy uh, everybody's in a in a rush to get the machines back to get cutting some grass so I'll be getting them out pretty soon thanks for watching guys see you later